Hey, this is Sam, FunkyPencils.com uh, Coming back again with uh, part 2 of the video tutorial uh, on perspective drawing and the last time I, w I was on, on camera um, I was talking about drawing this chair here in perspective, in single point perspective um, so I'm going to talk you through how we go about doing that now, when you're drawing an object or anything in particular in perspective it's always a good idea to try and figure out what sort of shape it, it takes. This chair, for example, would sit quite nicely in a cube. And I'll just show you what I mean. If I just draw, I'll move that out of the way for a second. If I draw a chair here, if I tell you what I'll do, I'll use a thick pen so you can actually see better. If I draw a chair here, same chair, pretty much. In perspective, you can actually fit that inside a box. If I show a box over here, just put me that across with the camera. That chair would fit in quite nicely inside that box. So when we come into draw or learning to draw perspective, it's always a good idea to try and figure out what sort of shape it would fit into. So you start up by drawing a box and then once you've drawn that just gradually work a shape into it. So you can see here the back of the chair fits on that plane of the box, the back plane of the box. The seat of the chair is sort of halfway up the middle and then the base sits down at the bottom of the box. And that's exactly the same principle that I've used to draw this chair here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a piece of paper and then draw the front face of the box followed by the sides and the top. Now the only thing is... Come on! Oh yeah! <laughs> Read that. How about this? Spinosaurus. Done by Cameron. Now the, the, the only thing is, is that I always use masking tape to pin my paper down, but I can't seem to find any masking tape, so I'm having to use electrical tape here. So don't do this. Try and use a better tape than electrical tape. There's nothing else I've, I've got at hand, so I'll be using that. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a box at first. It can be any size. There's our box. And then what we want to do is establish a vanishing point for where the perspective lines are going to radiate out to. And because we're looking slightly down on the chair, our eye level is going to be above the chair. So I would suggest putting the vanishing point somewhere over here. Now using your set square or your ruler, whichever you happen to use, draw a line going across. That is your vanishing point or, or horizon line. Basically the horizon line is, it's an imaginary line and in fact sometimes a line in reality where the ground appears to meet the sky at a far off distance. Let's just say you're at a beach or something and you were looking out at sea. The, the sea and the sky would meet or appear to meet on a, the horizon and what happens is is that our perspective lines vanish off towards the horizon meeting at a particular point in, in the single point perspective so what we're going to do now is now that we've drawn the box we're going to establish where the sides are going to go so we're going to take the bottom corner draw a line all the way to that, that uh, point. Take the top corner of the box and draw it back to the vanishing point. And then this corner here, take that corner and draw a line all the way to there. Okay, so the side is actually on that plane, the top is on this plane, and it will have an extent, the extent of the box roughly 
about here. Just kind of make it look, you know, reasonably realistic. Draw the top. And now we have that basic shape. The next thing you want to do now is, again, just like in the earlier example, that chair, it'll fit inside this box. So this is the shape that it's going to be constrained in. So the first thing to do is, let's establish where the, uh, the seat height is. Let's go, let's just, let's just go midway. We'll put a slight angle on the seat. So we'll draw a line going back down this way. And then the seat back, yeah, we'll angle that back towards that far corner. The seat base, and that's the seat back. And then we'll give it a little bit of thickness. Draw that to about here. And then draw the rear part of the back about there. That's the basic shape here. Okay. So now that we've done that, we take each corner and radiate it back to the vanishing point. The crease of the seat back to the vanishing point and the top back to the vanishing point. And then all we need to do then is just replicate that line, the, the, the back line and the seat base on that rear face of the box. Front face of the box and at the back here, the rear face of the box. We're duplicating that shape here over to this side here. You can start to see the seat starting to take shape. Okay, so now we just need to figure out where this base is going to be. And I would suggest that you put it in the middle of the seat. So the way we do that is, if you imagine, if you were looking down flat on top of a box, and you were floating above it and you wanted to find the center, you would, the easiest way to do it is to take a diagonal line, and draw a line from each corner, and where the cross is the middle. Exactly the same principle is used here. If we were to draw the base of that box, put the perspective line there, and then join the corners together. There we go. There's the middle of that box, which is where uh, the center of our base is going to be. So what we do is draw a line going up to there, and then what we need to do then is just thicken up the base. And now we just need to draw in the legs. And the legs, we don't need to take them all the way to the corner, we'll just stop them short to make them look make them look cool. Pull them across to the base here. And to the spine rather. That's the, the, the two corner ones there. And then pull that to there. Just block that in a little bit. There we go. We've got our chair. There we go. We've got our t-rex. <laughs> That's my Okay. And what we're going to do now is just add a little bit more detail. Okay, so uh, that's as far as we got for so far. So uh, tune into part three, which we'll, we're going to do an overlay on top of this, and just kind of like sharpen up and just like uh, really bring that drawing to life. So anyway, check it out, part three. Whee! Upside down. <laughs> yeah, I think we're on that. All right, good. Oh man. What? I think I, I don't think I even recorded it. <laughs> 